Good morning. It's about 7.30 in the morning on Wednesday, December 7th. And uh, I am walking to the doctor's office uh, for an appointment this morning. Um, Michael had to go to work and <laughs> I have to go to the doctor. So we need to be in two different places at once. And we have one vehicle between the two of us. So uh, I am walking. It's only a 30 minute walk there. So I am getting in my walking for the day. Um, so it should be good. Also, the grocery store is near the doctor's office. So I'm gonna go to the doctor's office, then stop at the grocery store, pick up a few things that we need. Uh, on the way home. I also have, for my walk this morning, um, a book to read. <laughs> um, yeah, so I did not like reading as a child. Um, I blame prescribed reading, and we didn't really get to choose what to read. We had to read the stories that were assigned to us, and I just did not relate to the characters and the so the situations and the stories and it just really didn't like call to me so I did not like reading as a child and then in high school we stopped getting assigned readings and it was just about reading um, so I had picked up at Walmart because you know high school student um, <laughs> parent it's not my money I'm spending on books it's my parents money um, but while we'd go shopping at Walmart for groceries and all the things which was a 30 minute drive from home um, I would check out the book section and um, I would read James Patterson and so that's what got me to like reading actually um, was James Patterson. So I have a bunch of his books that I collected while I was in high school and early college. And I'm going back and rereading these books because it's been so long. And I kind of want to relive these happy memories of when I actually really started to enjoy reading. Now, this is book number two of the series. I read book number one already. This is probably the worst one. <laughs> I do remember that. I went back and saw my review on Goodreads and read other reviews, and I was not a huge fan of this book, but it's book number two in the series. I'm kind of a completionist, so I'm going to read it. <laughs> but this time I know going in that it's not the best, so I can skip over sections if I need to. But All right, I'm going to get to reading on this walk. My arm's tired from holding this phone up to record. I will see you on the other side. So I'm home from my walk, doctor's office and the grocery store. And I had a little early lunch, so I got some um, fried chicken from the deli at the store. <laughs> had a couple pieces uh, to re-energize me after walking for a few miles. Um, and so I'm cleaning up the kitchen. <clears throat> so I took out some compost and um, just tidying things up and I thought I'd show you what the garden looks like. Um, the snow we had all, well pretty much all of it has melted. Um, yesterday it was warm enough for it to rain. <clears throat> it washed away a lot of the snow so you can actually see the plants again. So I'm just going to give you a quick tour of what my garden looks right now, looks like right now. Um, it's kind of cool to see because I am growing some things out there this winter and uh, we will see how that goes. Hey Marjorie. Oh yes, Marjorie wants to play. It's actually kind of nice outside. Good weather for playing fetch. So I need to wrap up these hoses. 
Um, I took the garden hoses out of the garden beds and I just never wound them up. And uh, in here I have garlic bulbs planted, but I don't see garlic poking up at all. I see weeds sprouting because I did put fresh compost in here. Um, yeah, no garlic sprouts. Darn, sad face. Okay. Um, this bed has uh, cabbages in the front and Brussels sprouts in the back. And you can see the weight of the snow just like uh, smush the leaves. Oh wow, even my little plastic border is smushed down as well. I'll have to take those out. Um, yeah, I don't know. How are these doing? How are you doing, cabbage? Let's it's okay. Brussels sprouts. Not really. There's like maybe the start of something down there. Okay. Well, that's fine. <clears throat> this one's further along. And yeah, there's not really any anything down there for me. Darn. I guess I need to plant them a little earlier than I did. More cabbage. Lettuce. Kale. Brussels sprouts. I think one of these is even broccoli. I think this one right here. Yeah, they're not growing very much, but that's okay. Um, and then this bed is all empty. Those are um, dead bean plants that I just left. I left there. Uh, the compost pile is doing fine. Not that you want to see it. It's got veggies in it. <laughs> uh, veggie scraps, potato peels, that kind of thing. Um, I've got nothing over here except for little bundles of garlic. So let's see if there are any garlic sprouts. Mm, oh yeah, here we go. They're marked with the compost. So here's a bundle. I don't see anything coming up. Yeah. Usually I have little sprouts of garlic by this point, but I also planted them a little later. No, I didn't. I did not plant them later than usual. The problem is we went from summer weather to winter weather with basically no fall in between. Um, these are carrots and honestly they need to come up. I've just been waiting so that, because when I pull them up they don't last very long so I want to pull them up and eat them right away. So I've got two bundles of carrots here. Um, this is a fresh thing of compost. Um, that's cabbage that regrew. No, that's a that's a cabbage seedling I put in. These two are cabbages that regrew. So these gave me two huge heads of cabbage um, late summer, and I cut them all the way down to like I don't know three or four inches of the stem sticking up, and they regrew. So I let them grow because hey, more cabbage I'm cool with. Um, but yeah, there's garlic in here somewhere. Again, I don't see it. Um, here's my hummingbird feeder. And the hummingbirds have been coming to drink from this. It does freeze when it gets cold at night. It does freeze. But then it's out here in the sunlight, so it warms up. And then the hummingbirds come back and drink some, drink some food. But Marjorie wants to play fetch, so I need to play with her a little bit.
camera. Um, good morning. It's about 10.30, yeah, 10.30 in the morning on Thursday, December 8th. Um, slept in a little bit this morning, so got up around 6, 6.30 instead of my usual 5, or in some cases 3.30 in the morning. Um, and so I started the day with um, editing Vlogmas videos to post on YouTube because I'm totally behind on that. So, <laughs> so some videos went up this morning. Um, and now I need to get some work done of processing grades, so that's a thing. But I also um, got some packages yesterday afternoon and first thing this morning and they're crafty related so I'm gonna be showing them to you later today after I get some of my work done because yeah once I open these packages uh, all bets are off 